good afternoon children today we are going to deal with the lesson the necklace by gedi mapasand he was a 19th century french author remembered as a master of the short story form and as a representative of the naturalist school she was one of those pretty young ladies born as if through an error of destiny into a family of clerks she had no dowry no hopes no means of becoming known loved and married by a man either rich or distinguished and she allowed herself to marry a petty clerk in the office of the board of education she was simple but she was unhappy okay children in this chapter we are going to learn about a lady okay a pretty lady but uh, she was born into a family of clerks okay and uh, she always wanted to be very famous but what happened is that uh, she had no dowry no hopes and there was no means of becoming known loved and what happened to her she got married by a man who was a clerk in the office of the board of education so she was so simple but she was unhappy with that married life because she was dreaming about a very rich life okay children she wanted to get married to a rich man and to have a very much luxurious life and all so in this chapter we are going to learn about uh, how things get worse for her as she is not at all satisfied in her own life so the main message of this chapter is that we should be happy with whatever you have okay your greediness can only make your life miserable for you okay so this is a main character is a girl it's a lady and she is pretty very young she is born into the family of clerks she was not having any dowry any hope and there was no means of becoming known loved and married by a rich man and eventually what happens she gets married to a clerk she suffered insensibly feeling herself born for all delicacies and luxuries she suffered from the poverty of her apartment the shabby walls and the worn chairs all these things tortured and angered her when she seated herself for dinner opposite her husband who uncovered the tureen with a delighted air saying okay now she was suffering so much because she felt herself that she was born for all the delicacies and the luxurious things and she suffered from poverty in her apartment the shabby walls and the worn chairs was making her feel so much miserable and all these things are torturing her and making her angry but one day what happened when she is uh, sitting for dinner her husband is uncovering a envelope okay and he was so happy so what was that envelope that we have to get to know about now in this paragraph you understood about the mentality of that girl okay she was not at all happy in that husband's house oh the good pot p i know nothing better than that she would think of elegant dinners of shining silver she thought of the exquisite food served in marvelous dishes she had neither frocks nor jewels nothing and she loved only those things she had a rich friend a oh, schoolmate at the convent who she did not like to visit she suffered so much when she returned okay now what happened it was an invitation to a dinner to a party okay actually she was so much happy about taking part in such parties because of this elegant dinners of the shining silver utensils in which the dinner was served and she neither heard the frocks and jewels see children there's a dress code no in order to attend in such parties and all you should have this long gowns and they are very costly jewels and all so she was not having any frocks or jewels and she loved only those things now she remember she had a rich friend and it was a schoolmate at the convent but she don't like to visit her because she is suffering so much out of poverty and she don't wish to see her friend in her poverty okay so she was having a possibility that she can borrow some jewels and clothes apt for the party from her 
rich friend okay children very often now whenever you are in a bad situation what may happen you will not like visiting others she wept for whole days from despair and disappointment one evening her husband returned elated bearing in his hand a large envelope here he said here is something for you she quickly drew out a printed card on which were inscribed these words The Minister of Public Instruction and Madam George Rampini asked the honor of Mr and Mrs Loisel's company okay so that was an invitation card as i have already mentioned for you she was very much sad and she spent the days in despair and disappointment but one evening what happened uh, when her husband returned he was having a large envelope in his hand and it said that it was an invitation card from the minister of public instruction and uh, mr and mrs loisel okay see this m and mme and or that is a madam e all those usages so you can refer it as mr and mrs loisel okay so what is the lady's name mrs loisel okay very often the name of the lady is combined with the surname of his of her husband okay so they are being invited to a big dinner big party okay thrown by the minister of public instruction okay and uh, mrs loisel was so much happy to be a part monday evening january 18 at the minister's residence instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped she threw the invitation spitefully upon the table murmuring what do you suppose i want with that but my deary i thought it would make you happy you never go out and this is an occasion and a fine one everybody wishes one and it is very select not many are given to employees so it was dated on january 18 on monday evening okay and it happened at the minister's residence so the husband mr loisel thought that mrs loisel will be happy to see such an invitation but no she was uh, so angry she threw the invitation on the table and she said what do you want me to do with this invitation but husband mr loisel said i thought you will be happy because you never go out and it's an occasion a very fine occasion very selective people are invited not many employees are invited so i thought you will be happy to be a part of it okay so poor husband mr loisel is trying his best to make mrs loisel feel happy and he gave the invitation thinking that now children at this point we have to think why mrs loisel was not at all happy with that invitation see we already learned that she is always loved such parties where she will get this delicacies delicious foods and she can glitter up in the good dress and all those things she always loved it you will see the whole official world there she looked at him with an irritated eye and declared impatiently what do you suppose i have to wear to such a thing as that he had not thought of that he stammered why the dress you wear when we go to the theater it seems very pretty to me he was silent stupefied in dismay at the sight of his wife weeping okay now what was the problem confronted by mrs loisel actually she was uh, worried about not having an appropriate dress to wear on such an occasion and she is asking her husband what do you expect me to wear when we go to the party okay and now mr loisel was least having the ideas about so actually the husband was not having any idea that she is not having any pretty dress to wear for that party and he gave a suggestion of wearing the dress that she used to wear when they go to the theater okay then he thought uh, he was so stupid in making such a comment he stammered what is the matter what is the matter by a violent effort she had controlled her vexation and responded in a calm voice whipping her moist cheeks nothing only i have no dress and consequently i cannot go to this affair give your card to some colleague whose wife is better fitted out than i he was grieved but answered let us see matilda okay so what is the name of the lady matilda okay mrs loisel is matilda now when she started weeping crying he is asking her what is the matter 
and uh, she is controlling her anger and uh, responded in a very calm voice that uh, nothing i have no dress to go for such an occasion so give this card to somebody whose wife is most appropriate and fit to have such an occasion and he felt sad over this comment comment uh, made by uh, mrs loiser and he said that let me see if i can get you some good dress to wear in that occasion okay children so here uh, we can see mr loisel as a very loving husband who want to make his wife happy but matilda is not at all happy with anything that he is providing okay uh, she is uh, having that much uh, inferiority complex we can say okay we are comparing with others and all how much would a suitable costume cost something that would serve for other occasion something very simple she reflected for some seconds thinking of a sum that she could ask for without bringing with an immediate refusal and a frightened exclamation from the economical clerk finally she said in a hesitating voice i cannot tell exactly but it seems to me that 400 francs ought to cover it now the poor husband mr loisel is enquiring at what amount such a suitable costume may be bought now she was thinking about an amount she can ask because if she is asking a very huge amount he may refuse it immediately and he may get frightened because he was just an economical clerk okay not much rich and all so she said that uh, maybe some 400 francs and all will be the amount for a suitable costume to wear for such an occasion now children this 400 francs and all as far as the clerk is concerned it's a big amount for the yes indeed okay so she is uh, presenting that uh, amount to her husband actually the mr loisel was having the idea of uh, giving her the money in order to make her feel comfortable and take part in the party okay so we have to find out whether she gets the dress he turned a little pale for he had saved just this sum to buy a gun that he might be able to join some hunting parties the next summer with some friends who went to shoot larks on sunday nevertheless he answered very well i will give you 400 francs but try to have a pretty dress the day of the ball approached and mr loisel seemed sad disturbed anxious now on hearing the amount of 400 francs uh, mr loisel first he is turning pale becoming thin okay actually what happened no he had just saved that much amount to buy a gun so that he can join his friends on hunting parties the next summer because some of his friends went to shoot larks on sunday now actually he is uh, giving that amount to his wife and asking her to buy a pretty dress okay now as the day of the party was approaching mrs loisel okay madam e loisel was sad disturbed and anxious okay she got the dress that she had wished for now what is the second problem that was troubling her costume wise she was okay she was given the 400 francs by her her husband okay we can uh, note here that the husband was a good fellow nevertheless her dress was nearly ready her husband said to her one evening what is the matter with you you have acted strangely for two or three days and she responded i am vexed not to have a jewel nothing to adorn myself with i shall have such a poverty stricken look i would prefer not to go to this party he replied you can wear some natural flowers now the problem that was haunting madam e loisel was that she was having the dress ready but no appropriate jewel to wear according with the dress okay so the husband is asking her you have been acting so awkward so different in this two to three days and she said that she is feeling so angry at her because she is not having a jewel nothing to beautify herself and she is having such a poverty stricken look and she don't prefer to go to the party with such a look for this he replied that she can wear some natural flowers okay so poor husband no 
he is giving a solution in this season they look very chic she was not convinced no she replied there is nothing more humiliating than to have a shabby air in the midst of rich women then her husband cried out how stupid we are go and find your friend madame forster and ask her to lend you her jewels she uttered a cry of joy it's true she said i had not thought of that the next day she took herself to her friend's house and related her story of distress now what happened uh, she was not agreeing with the idea of uh, beautifying her with this flowers and all and she don't want to have a humiliating experience in the middle of the rich women then all of a sudden her husband got an idea and he is asking matilda to go to madame forster and to lend some jewels okay and matilda was also happy regarding that note and she thought of going to her the next day itself and uh, explain her story of distress of poverty to her okay children very often you will also share the ornaments of your cousins when you want to go for a party and all likewise she is borrowing some jewels it's a very important turning point in the story okay we can see matilda borrowing some jewels from her friend what's the name of the friend children madame forestier okay madame forestier went to her closet took out a large jewel case brought it opened it and said choose my dear she saw at first some bracelets then a collar of pearls then a venetian cross of gold and jewels of admirable workmanship she tried the jewels before the glass hesitated but could neither decide to take them nor leave them then she asked have you nothing more now what happened madame forester is going to her cupboard okay our closet means cupboard and she is taking a big jewel case and she is opening it up and she is asking matilda to choose one now matilda is uh, coming across some bracelets collar of pearls then a venetian cross of gold and jewels of admirable workmanship and she is trying the jewels on her and she was not happy with anything of that sort and she is asking um, madame forester again have you nothing more okay this is a situation you know, when you are given with a lot of jewels you cannot decide which one to choose and all okay now matilda was not at all pleased with all these jewels why yes look for yourself i do not know what will please you suddenly she discovered in a black satin box a superb necklace of diamonds her hands trembled as she took it out she placed it about her throat against her dress and was ecstatic then she asked in a hesitating voice full of anxiety could you lend me this only this now what happened uh, madame forester understood her situation and she is asking her to choose on her own and she is coming across a necklace of diamonds which was in a black satin box and she is trying it on her and she was so thrilled and she asked in a voice of anxiety to madame forester could you lend me this only this okay she wanted only that necklace of diamond okay so this is the necklace that forms the title of our story the necklace so the necklace of diamonds is what that was liked by madame loisa now see actually it's a necklace of diamonds so mithilda was not at all sure why yes certainly she fell upon the neck of her friend embraced her with passion then went away with her treasure the day of the ball arrived madame loisel was a great success she was the prettiest of all elegant gracious smiling and full of joy all the men noticed her asked her name and wanted to be presented okay now she is hugging her friend and she is going with her treasure okay madame forester agreed to have that necklace of diamond on the day of the party what happened madame loisel was a great success she was the prettiest of all she was looking elegant gracious smiling and full of joy okay and what happened all the men noticed her okay so it's a 
very much accomplished wish of the ladies that the men should notice them appreciate their beauty and all okay many men asked her name and uh, she felt presented okay uh, she wanted uh, everyone's attention she wanted to be famous and all she danced with enthusiasm intoxicated with pleasure thinking of nothing but all this admiration this victory is so complete and sweet to her heart she went home towards 4 o'clock in the morning her husband had been half asleep in one of the little salons since midnight with three other gentlemen whose wives were enjoying themselves very much so she was dancing with enthusiasm and her she returned home about 4 o'clock her husband was still at the party and he was enjoying with other gentlemen and the wives were also there okay so she was uh, very much excited about the party and she was late to her home so parties and all late night party it was okay children so towards the morning 4 o'clock she is reaching her home okay so she was so happy so children will continue in the next part